Dear all, welcome to part two video of question paper discussion for the subject renewable energy sources. Uh, in the previous session, I have discussed till question number three. Today we are going to discuss from question number four onwards. Kindly pay the attention. So we are we have been discussing about the question which is happened in the year of uh, June July 2023. So question number four, you can read. Explain beam and diffuse radiation with uh, neat sketch. That is one of the most important question. You will be getting like so many terminologies. So such kind of questions, how to answer is, it is better to draw the diagram like this. Uh, so the weightage of this diagram is two mark. Here you can mention about the diffuse radiation, direct radiation reflected by the surface, all the things you can mention very clearly. So here definition also mentioned uh, for your reference, uh, the solar radiation that has not absorbed or scattered and reaches to the ground directly from the sun is called as direct radiation. Solar radiation received from the sun after the direction uh, changes by the reflection and scattering to the atmosphere that is called as diffuse radiation. So the definition that is uh, given clearly, try to write the same fashion because it's a definition. Definition should be written in the standard form only. Okay, so uh, better you can explain with the help of this diagram also. So total weightage you will be getting seven marks. Question number four, be brief, briefly explain the attenuation of beam radiation. So here, as you can see the definition, attenuation of beam radiation that is given here, the variation in the solar radiation reaching to the earth then received at the outside of the atmosphere is due to absorption and the scattering of the atmosphere. Then uh, ex give a brief explanation about the absorption and uh, also give an account on uh, scattering. So total weightage is 2 plus 2 plus 2, you will be getting 6 marks. Better if you have some uh, typical diagram that also can be added, but here they haven't added. Uh, so we, we, if you want, you can add the diagram, some uh, like equations, uh, some ratios, all the points you can add. Try to write uh, technically. Question number 4C, explain the working principle of uh, pyre heliometer with a neat sketch. Weightage is 7 marks. How it is divided? So pyre heliometer, okay. So uh, if I talk about the pyre heliometer, what is, first of all, you write the purpose. You can write the purpose. Pur what is the purpose? It is a device which measures the beam radiation. That is why we are using pyre heliometer. It is better to draw the simple diagram in this fashion. You can use this particular diagram, try to practice it. Solar radiation you can mention. Uh, you do mention the acceptance angle theta, glass window, tube, thermocouple. Okay, so thermocouple, it's a, uh, it's a, ther it's a transducer thermocouple. Then uh, how, if you want, you can write the relevance also, like explanation, the sketch you can sketch you can draw in this fashion. Correct. Uh, so uh, this is used to measure the beam radiation that you can mention. Okay. So purpose you can mention the total weightage is six marks. I hope you can manage these kinds such kind of questions. If you don't have the diagram in your notebook or anywhere, kindly co uh, incorporate this particular diagram. Try to make it as simple as possible because you will not get that much of time for the examination. You have to manage the time effectively. You should be a good time manager for the exam point. Question number 5a, derive an expression for wind power. Also discuss the conditions in transversing a wind rotor. So there is a derivation. Uh, so every question I have seen this kind of derivation, you can see. So equation of kinetic energy, then write the equation for mass. Then uh, where here rho is the density of air, uh, A is the soft, uh, soft area. Uh, then uh, V is the velocity of air. Uh, similarly, then afterwards you can substitute. Instead of M, you can substitute uh, the same, uh, like you can call it as 1. And this you can call it as 2. 2 in 1, substitute 2 in 1. You will be getting like this. So K is equal to half rho AV cube. Okay. Uh, then the soft area of the rotor, pi d square. By 5 by 4 d square. Okay. Pi d square by 4. Then available power is equal to half rho AV cube. No. So here... A, A you can substitute as pi by 4 d square. Then ultimately you will be getting 1 by 8 rho pi d square v cube. Okay. So this is actually the total uh, power which is available. Uh, also you can explain with the help of this particular diagram. Okay. So how the like uh, uh, with respect to the direction of wind, how the area that the area of the turbine blade that is going to be changed that you can explain. Uh, so condition transverse wind power each has the weightage of three marks. Okay, kindly follow up. You can refer any one of the textbook. Otherwise, you incorporate this one. You can elaborate it by your own sentences. Correct. It is better to refer the textbook time. For the time being, you can go through this. Okay. So if you want to go in detail, kindly go through the textbook. This is only the way of writing the examination. How to crack the examination. 
5b explain the basic component in wind energy conversion system so it is better to uh, draw the simple uh, uh, like a uh, block diagram so we can draw the rotor then you can mention the power electronic converter then you can mention the grid okay so uh, that is regarding the wind uh, energy conversion so ac to ac converter is required for the wind energy conversion you can add the so uh, storage devices explain the process of photosynthesis in biomass production also the list of necessary condition of photosynthesis which is also having six marks. So you might have studied in biology. Okay, what is a chemical equation you can write and there's some simple diagram, some cycle that you can mention. It has the weightage of uh, six marks. Uh, how much? Uh, so weightage is seven marks. So we'll move on to the six, question number uh, 6A. Explain the site selection criteria of installed wind uh, mill machine. Okay, wind machine. High annual average wind speed. So approximately uh, the, we have a count at least 20 kmph, okay, 20 kmph, or if you convert in terms of meter per second, at least 5 meter per second, wind speed should be there in that particular area. Availability of uh, anim uh, anemometry data, previous data is available actually, should be available. Okay, then only we can pre uh, predict whether the project will be feasible or not. Availability of the wind VT curve and the proposed site, wind selection at the proposed site, altitude of the proposed site, ter terrain and its uh, uh, aerodynamics, local ecology, study about the local ecology, how much amount of population, is there any res res residential area nearby, so is there any forest area nearby, distance to the uh, roads and railways, like uh, maintenance, for the maintenance, transportation, uh, like uh, we require road and rail facility, uh, uh, and nearness of the la uh, local uh, center users, and the nature of ground, uh, like uh, uh, load bearing capacity, favorable land cost, then icing issues, salt spray, etc. Everything you have to consider. So, uh, like this, you can uh, write in the examination. Hope you got an idea. So, you can write a few more points which is not included in this uh, answer kit. This is only for your reference. Okay. 6B is with a neat sketch explain the working principle of uh, Savanius rotor. Okay. So, Savanius rotor, it is better to draw the schematic diagram like this. Okay. Here, advanced blade, advancing blade, the lift force then the returning blade, all the things you can mark very clearly. So remember, diagram has certain weightage. Okay, it comprises of uh, two half cylinders focus, uh, fo focusing opposite directions such as like this, uh, on the on the, on, on, on the the S-shaped cross section. Okay, so explanation carries four marks, sketch carries two marks. Like this, they divided the marks. Okay, you can write the answer in this fashion, correct? So, hope you can manage it. Kindly go through once again. It will be useful for you, definitely. Question number 60, explain the construction and operation of Jan, uh, Janata bio, Biogas power, power Plant. In India, I know it is so much popular. Question number uh, like 60, how to answer this? I am helping you out. So, first of all, you have to draw the digester. Here, you have to mention the inlet and uh, with the slurry. Slurry in the sense of water and uh, uh, the cow dung or uh, like a uh, anim uh, uh, manure, animal manure. Okay, technically animal manure. So we have we, we it is better to draw the outlet also where the gas will be co uh, collected. Uh, where the like uh, what I can say. So adjustment can be done through this particular tank like excess or like uh, can balance it. Uh, then uh, we have a gas pipe here. We have a control valve. Correct. So here methane gas will be generated here. Remember this TH four. Uh, then a foundation, civil work will be carried out in this bottom side. So sketch has the weightage of three marks. Explanation uh, carries the weightage of four marks. So how the gas will be generated? Okay, so the mixing of slurry one is to one. It will be like this only. Like uh, for one liter, sorry, for one liter water, one liter cow dung, like that or animal manure in this fashion. So in this fashion, you can proceed for writing the uh, answer for question number 60. I think it's clear to everybody. Question number 6C is also clear. Yes. Now I am moving on to question number 7A. Uh, uh, it is from module 4. Briefly explain the single basin tidal power plant. So very simple actually. So this is the arrangement of single basin uh, tidal power plant. Uh, it, uh, it like uh, So study the structure. So it will utilize the movement of water like uh, from uh, two, like uh, only uh, one time it uh, move from sea area to basin, 
or conversely from base into free area at that time the turbine is going to be operated turbine is operated with the generator so that turbine generator set is getting operated okay so this is the way how the electricity is generated in this fashion the sketch carries the weightage of two marks explanation four marks six, totally six marks manage it effectively explain the working principle of uh, closed cycle ocean thermal energy conversion scheme there are different cycles available here they have asked about you closed cycle ot otec so here you can mention about like uh, the entire entire system okay evaporator uh, then you can mention about the turbine generator then mention the condenser then again uh, the uh, condensation process afterwards they again pumping the water back to the evaporator the process is actually repeated it's just like a closed cycle okay uh, then uh, mention about the temperature uh, then you have to elaborate it more okay question number 70 Question number 70, list the advantages and limitations of wave energy. Okay, what is wave energy? So, advantages, uh, energy has been naturally concentrated by uh, accumulation of uh, like over time and space. Then uh, degree and power concentration effect waves. So, it's quite substantial. Wave power delivers do not uh, use up large uh, okay, masses. Pollution free, of course. Uh, this is a free and renewable energy sources those things you can mention in addition to that if you are feeling any other points that can be also added then uh, so limit limiting factor what are the limitations wave energy conversion must be capable within uh, standing very uh, severe peak stresses uh, wave energy alternation equipment must be operated in uh, like a marine environment that is too difficult so it is too expensive as well maintenance cost is too high scarcity and accessory uh, accessible sites wave energy sites are very located in a very rare places of our uh, in the world so these are the few important uh, setbacks uh, we can mention okay so these are the uh, question number four five six and seven so remaining three questions will be discussed in the forthcoming session. Let me know if you have any uh, clarifications. I'm happy to answer back. You can give the suitable comments in your comment box. So if you are watching my channel first time, kindly subscribe. If the video is uh, fine for you and uh, if we found this video is useful to others, kindly share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.